Hello, it's André Salier here again. Um, I'm a trained microbiologist and plant pathologist, but you all know me best as the psychiatric enthusiast from South Africa. Um, today I want to show you the difference morphologically without cones on leaves. Morphological difference between cycas and encephalato. Cycas, you know, comes more from the east, mainly from China, Japan, that part of the world. Encephalatus is in Africa. So let's go and have a look at the differences between the two. This is um, Cycas revelita. We all know these. We're very common, very easy to grow, very popular and very beautiful. This is a typical Cycas leaflet. You'll see the main difference here is on the back side where we see that central vein between the two ridges. So this leaflet has got three ridges, one on the end, one in the middle and one on the end again. That is the main characteristic, and they're all like that. All cycas have got that rib in the middle on the back end of the leaf, which is very clear to be seen here. Here is a typical encephalatus leaf. This is a Lamani. So if we compare this to cycas, you'll see there is no midrib here. It's just the two edges of the leaf. And even if we turn that around, you'll see there's a lot of small striations behind the leaf but there's no midrib that we've seen in, in the Cycas genus. This is a Nubimontanus, and it's the Dolomitica form of this, but this is a typical Encephalatus leaflet. Let's look at it. Your point of attachment there onto the rachis is narrow. Then it becomes broader and it narrows off to a point again. So typically Encephalatus leaf looks like an arrowhead. Narrow, in the middle it's broad, and the attachment point to the rachis is narrow again. This is true for all encephalatus leaves, even the more complex ones like this. This is Aranares. Uh, compare them to what, let's call them simpler leaves like Lemani and Eugene Marie and so on. This has got thorns on. So this is uh, Aranares. Same thing, narrow point, broad in the middle, narrow attachment on the rachis, and no midrib in the middle.